Yo, what is going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be sorting out the Frostmaster T300 and its lack of fill on Le Mans Ultimate. Now I've got my son with me so bear in mind there might be a couple of interruptions but I'm going to show you guys how to get the T300 working <laughs> as if it should be. Alright, All right, let's get stuck into the video. Now this video might take a little longer than expected but first let me show you how to get to the folders for Le Mans Ultimate. Now, I'm going to show you the normal way you would do it. I've actually got my Le Mans Ultimate saved onto my other SSD, not my main one. So I believe you'd have to go into local C drive program files, I think. And then you want to go down to Steam, Steam apps. And then it should be in common. And then somewhere you'd, you'd find Le Mans Ultimate. My one's not here because, I've, as I said, I've got it saved on a different SSD. But... Basically, this is how you're going to get to the Le Mans Ultimate file if you've got it saved normally. Now, for me personally, I need to go to my second SSD, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, same thing. But as you can see, I've got Le Mans Ultimate here. So um, I'll go into that. Then once you've gone into Le Mans Ultimate, you want to go down to Use Data, then into Controller, then into Presets. Once you're in here, you're going to find all the presets for all the wheels and pedals that you can use on Le Mans Ultimate. Um, you're going to scroll down Frostmaster T300, which is what I've got. Um, of course, if you're on any other any other wheel, literally, they're all here. OK, so that's basically, you know, the presets for every single wheel. I'm going to go into T300 because that's what I've got. And this is where the magic happens or the first part of the magic happens. Now, what I might do is I'm going to copy and paste this, or maybe I might drop this file as a little download link in the description. And you can pretty much just copy and paste it into um, into the into the notepad for yourselves. But the steering resistance coefficient and steering resistance saturation, normally I believe this is on 0 0.1, and I've changed it. And this is, for whatever reason, this is what makes you able to fill the back end of the car now the last update for me completely ruined how this wheel felt so i managed to find the folders or, or the files and these two this i've got mine on 65 70 you might like yours a little different um but for me just try and take down exactly what i've got and then if you're not happy with certain things you can you know where to go to change it now um i would suggest just pretty much copy everything i've got so I will drop that in the description below. And again, as you scroll down here as well, there's a couple of things here I believe I changed as well. But um, other than that, for the most part, just file, save, and then you'll come out of that. Then um, we're going to load up the game. So once the game is loaded, just go into the settings. And pretty much this is how you want to be setting up the force feedback that force feedback is um i've got the the two top ones ticked on steering torque capability is on four i've got my force feedback strength on 26 percent. now you can go up on that if you want but if you sort of copy what i've got then you may not need to go too much higher i've got the force feedback smoothing on zero minimum steering torque on 4.0 i did have this on 5.0 as well but i just prefer just a little bit lower um collision strength 20 percent steering torque sensitivity on 130 percent and then the um use constant steering force effect off right um that's the first set of force feedback settings that i've got set up now that works in tandem with the what we did with the file on the settings when we went into the folders before so now for whatever reason now you can just fill the back end the car doesn't feel crazy understeery like it did before then again this is very important go into calibration and normally this is on i believe it's on 450 and your steering wheel minimum rotation would be on 900 forget that tick this off keep this off put the top one to 390 and put the bottom one to 390 now if you want the car to be a little bit more reactive you can even go down to 360 but make sure these two numbers match and just leave the use of steering wheel range from the vehicle off okay 
once you do these two things you're going to notice how much better it feels okay but you still cannot start the game yet you still cannot drive yet what you need to do then is we're gonna need to jump back out of the game then i'm gonna go into your frostmaster control panel um mine is here control panel properties and make sure your your wheel rotation is the same in your control panel here so wherever you put it onto the game for me personally i tried 360 i tried 420 i tried 400 and then i kind of settled around 390 because the car didn't feel too twitchy so 390 degrees make sure it's the same in game on both the two settings that i showed you before once you've done this and you save it i'm telling you it feels so much better on le mans ultimate so much better I put it this way the the races for this week was the ferrari 488 well it's not a 488 well it looks like a 488 you know what car i'm talking about it's the ferrari at monza and when i went on before i changed anything i was literally doing one minute 49 nines right i was driving and the car it just felt horrible just understeer couldn't get the car to turn it just felt lazy just force feedback doesn't feel right the back of the car you can't really feel it so i just kept tinkering with things kept tinkering kept changing things by the time i'd finished i was doing 48 zeros comfortably you know almost literally a two second difference with just changing the settings and i will say with le mans Ultimate, that is definitely what i have noticed the most i've never played a game that is so sensitive to wheel settings that you can literally lose seconds just because the wheel doesn't feel quite right so guys i'm gonna leave the um the file in the in the description below hope you guys try it out even if you're on a different wheel there is things that you can tinker with if you're in the logitech you can try similar things i don't know how it feels on that wheel but i know a lot of people didn't really like the feeling who use a t300 so try this out cryptic tng like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace